Spectrum target curves have been a function of SMART for some time now, but the update to 9.4 marked the addition of target curves for transfer function measurement. This guide will lead you through the process of creating, editing, and importing target curves for both single and dual channel measurements. Before we get started, it is worth noting that since Smart Data Modeler can only import transfer function data, it only supports transfer function target curves. Similarly, since Smart RTA Pro can only perform single channel measurements, it only supports spectrum target curves. More information on using target curves with Smart RTA Pro can be found in another video. To import a target curve file into Smart or Data Modeler, it must be a CRV file that follows a specific format. Spectrum and transfer function target curves each have different formatting guidelines, which will be explained here. Spectrum target curves are formatted with four heading lines and two columns of data in frequency level format, separated by a tab character. Line sets the line thickness of the target curve using values one through five. It can also be set from Smart's target curves menu, which is accessible by using this hotkey or through the options menu. Color is, as you might expect, the color of the target curve in hex format. A target curve's color can be changed from within the target curves menu. The show line determines whether the target curve will be shown by default. It is denoted in binary, one for yes and zero for no. As you might expect, this can be toggled from within the target curves menu too. The last heading line, band, sets the banding of the target curve. This is necessary for spectrum target curves since they're locked to exact SPL values. While banding is normally set as a fraction, here it is designated by its denominator. For instance, one-third octave banding would be a three, one-sixth octave banding would be a six, and so on. For full octave banding, simply use a one. With these four header lines out of the way, you're free to enter your data. Target curve data is formatted as two columns, frequency and level, separated by a tab character. This is known as tab delimited formatting. Smart will not accept data separated by commas or spaces. If a target curve you've imported isn't shown in the target curves menu, this is a good thing to double check. Additionally, Smart is unable to import target curves saved in text or CSV formats, so make sure yours are saved as CRV files. Transfer function target curves share some heading lines with spectrum target curves with a few additions. The first header line is type, which should be entered as TF. This piece of info is optional for spectrum target curves, but required for transfer function ones. Next, you will see line, color, and show, which function the same as in a spectrum target curve. The next header line is a new one, tolerance. This will widen the target curve on either side in order to illustrate a target range as opposed to a hard set of levels. This is expressed in terms of decibels. For instance, setting this value to three will widen the target curve by three dB above and 3 dB below. This can later be adjusted from within the target curves menu, so feel free to set this to zero to start. The final header line is offset, which determines the Y offset of the target curve if desired. This is normalized to one kilohertz. Like with tolerance, you can set this to zero and change it later. All transfer function data is expressed in two columns, frequency and magnitude. These are also separated by a tab. Note that this does not include a column for phase data. Transfer function target curves should also be saved in the CRV file format. You can create a target curve from a captured trace as well. Prior to 9.5, this was a rather tedious process. To do this now, however, simply right-click a trace in the data bar and select Save as Target Curve. After naming your new target curve and clicking OK, it will be immediately viewable from within the target curves menu. Smart will determine whether it is a spectrum or transfer function target curve based on its original trace data type, then display it under its appropriate tab. Target curves can be imported into Smart via the target curves menu, accessible by using this hotkey or through the options menu. Here you'll see two tabs, one for spectrum target curves and one for transfer function target curves. Smart comes preloaded with a few of each type. Target curves can be imported or deleted using the appropriate buttons at the bottom of this menu. Once clicked, Import opens your operating system's file explorer, allowing you to search for the target curve file you'd like to import. Smart will automatically sort a target curve under its appropriate tab upon import. If you do this and cannot see your imported target curve under either tab, it might be worth opening the file in a text editor and double checking its formatting using the guidelines explained earlier. In this menu, you can also edit the show, color, 
size, offset, and name of target curves once imported. Checking show next to a target curve will enable it to be shown. To show target curves, focus the appropriate plot and either press the X key or click show target curves under the view dropdown. Note that spectrum target curves will not appear if no banding is selected on the plot. If your measurement level is low, you may have to move the plot upwards with the up arrow key in order to see your target curves. That just about covers the processes surrounding target curves. If you encounter any issues or have further questions surrounding target curves, either submit a ticket to rationalacoustics.com support or reach out to support at rationalacoustics.com and we'd be happy to assist.